What's up guys? It's Blazing Fades here. Just got back from getting my other game today, because Assassin's Creed 3 came out today, but they called me back and they're like, yo Marcos, we got your Ragnarok Odyssey game in, so come back and get it. So I went back and got it, and here it is. It's a pretty cool game by Xseed, as you guys can see, and I got the special Mercenary Edition. It's a pretty cool game. Xseed makes games like uh, Legend of Heroes, those kind of games. And I've never disliked one of the games, so I thought, why not get this one too? And as you can see, there's a bunch of cool stuff all around. And let me quickly read what's inside. Not that much inside, but it's the Vita game, that's why. Inside, it says, This limited edition, Mercenary Edition, contains Game Plus exclusive, 96-page art book, strategy guide, soundtrack CD, and 10 random insertion monster cards. Normally in... PSP games, things like that, that's actually all that comes in there. Soundtrack, art book, nothing else really. Maybe you'll get something special, but not that much gets in there. So, let's get to the good part and open this up. First thing I pull out is the original soundtrack. Looks pretty cool, has a bunch of monsters on the cover. And I guess this character in the little corner is you. Or one of the main characters, there might be more than one. You never know. But the monsters look pretty cool. And look, there's another main character on the back. Well, another main character on the back. Next up, looks like we have the art book. Looks pretty nice. Mercenary Guide, Guild of Midgard. Quickly, all this might actually be the strategy guide slash art book. Some things do that. They say it's a strategy guide, art book, when they're probably one and the same. So, let me flip through it real quick for you guys. Strategy guide part. And a little bit of art. Alright. It looks like... Uh, we got left here. This is obviously the game. Video games are really small, so now they all look like this. Don't know how I feel about it. And, as I said, these three people that were on the soundtrack look like the main characters. A girl, two guys. Unless the one with the silver hair is a girl. You never really tell sometimes, but, eh, whatever. And these look like the cards. Seeing how they're nothing special, I think I might just open them for you guys. Alright, so there's one of the cards. Anything on the back? Hey, look. Stats. This one is called a hill, hill Giant. Almost said that weird. Sometimes overthink things when they're really pretty simple. There's another card. This one is an orc. Next car, really quick. An orc king. Ooh, fancy. These are probably just all random monsters in the game. Horo, horo. This one looks pretty cool. This one is called a skull. Huh. 
This one is called a uh, Raedric. Raedric. Yeah. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Won't know until I play the game, right? This one looks weird. It's like a bunny rat that's holding a sword. And it's called a uh, Domo Ovoi. Creepy. Fafnir. It seems always have the weirdest names. Fleshy. And the last card looks like some ice thing. This one looks like it'd be a boss in the game. Frost Giant. Well, there you guys have it. Pretty simple. For PS Vita game costs 50 bucks, it's kind of pricey for a Vita game, maybe not, depends on how you look at it, but I'm guessing it's going to be a good game, I don't know until I try it right, but either way I do recommend it, because no one has a better opinion than yourself, so if you guys want to check it out, I guarantee you'll probably like it, and as always, there'll be more videos, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, phase out.